Good morning together and welcome to our uh, vendor seminar presenting the Agilent 1290 Infinity 2 DLC solution. I will give you ins uh, inside views about applications from comprehensive and 2D LC uh, and hard cutting 2D LC in the chemical industry. But now just for the first start of this uh, nice technique with 31 posters and uh, 14 presentations plus three seminars, 2D LC is for sure one of the most discussed topics here on the HPLC 2013. And this, uh, the setup is straightforward. When you come from a first di dimension, from a single dimension uh, chromatography, you just, uh, from the idea, you simply have to add a, a valve where you, can, uh, where you can bring on the effluent from the first dimension onto the second dimension. So you need a column on the second dimension, uh, a pump on the second dimension, bring in the, uh, the effluent onto the second dimension. And uh, ready you are for, for the uh, 2D uh, LC system. That's from the theory. Um, what will be behind this, you, will, uh, you already heard a lot, and you will also hear a little bit more about this. From the techniques, uh, there are mainly two techniques what, what we are talking of. The comprehensive to DLC uh, is characterized by the fact that all the effluent from the first dimension is uh, sampled onto the second dimension. So what you do, you cut the first dimension chromatogram into several slices, and the second dimension chromatogram here is characterized by short run times. It can be gradients, it can be isocratic runs. And the picture which you finally get is a, a, a three-dimensional plot of the first dimension, which we got here on the x, and on the y-axis we got the second dimension. As a uh, further technique, we got the hard cutting to the LC, which uh, appears a little bit more simple, but also has its uh, tasking, um, tasking moments. So here you do not cut out every, uh, every part of the first dimension chromatogram, but you have dedicated areas of your, uh, of your chromatogram which you cut out, and uh, because you have only much less cuts, you have much more time to analyze, your, uh, to analyze your second dimension. So the second dimension is, much, uh, is often much longer in, in the runtime. What does this mean for the Agilent solution? Well, when you, come, when you have already an existing Agilent uh, system, this is very nice because you can almost upgrade any uh, existing Agilent system. The only must requirement which you have is in the second dimension to have a 1290 infinity binary pump. The reason is pretty simple because there we have a, a big computing unit which can do all the calculations which are needed to synchronize the different switching, uh, et cetera, everything which is, uh, which is needed to synchronize the switching and the, the various gradients. And there's much more behind. We have a poster about this from Konstantin Tolkit where he's also talking about this. But on the first dimension, you can use almost everything which you want. A 1290 binary pump, of course, we also like, but you can also use a capillary pump or a 1260 pump, whatever you want, as well as for, uh, for the auto-sampling unit, take a uh, high-performance or a standard auto-sampler. You can add in um, a, a detector to see what's happening in the first dimension. You can add in a detector to, ha to see what's happening on the waistline. Uh, you just, it makes sense to add something onto the second dimension uh, to see what's finally coming out. This can be, of course, a diode array or even a mass pack. Additionally to this, uh, to this uh, setup, we uh, invented a valve which is dedicated for the needs of uh, two-dimensional chromatography, uh, respectively, especially for, um, for uh, a comprehensive 2D LC. The valve is set up out of two uh, equal uh, two concentric circles, which enable uh, to add on to equal flow paths. So either you're going in the first, uh, in, in the blue direction here, it's a little bit hard with this pointer to show, or you're going into the orange directions. As soon as you have two equal valves, 
the uh, flow path will be totally equal. This uh, will give you good a good advantage towards the reproducibility of your results later because they will, the flow path are so equal. From the hardware setup, you go to the software setup, and um, what you have to do is to, add, to just install an add-on onto the uh, OpenLab camp station, and there you, then you are guided through a kind of, uh, of, of a wizard where you just have to add in what is my instrumentation, um, uh, you have to add in your pumps, your detectors, and a nice thing you have to add in uh, when you add in your valve uh, configuration, you are guided how you have to connect your valves. The solution um, um, enables various different valve uh, configurations, so not only our uh, extra two, uh, 2D LC valve, but you can also use a two-position two ten-port valve or the, the solution, often used solution with two valves, uh, two-position six-port. And uh, you are guided through how to set up your connections, so you will uh, be really sure that your connections are made right. This is the hardware setup, very simple. But um, even maybe even more important when as soon as the system is set up is how to set up your, your method. The first dimension gradient is programmed very easy, but then you think about uh, how to program the uh, second dimension gradient. And in some talks I saw some uh, programming, and you see usually long, long lists of gradients which are programmed. Here you just uh, program the initial setup gradient, and then you can edit it manually. So how does it work? It works pretty straightforward to enable you various different ways of editing your gradient to a standard gradient, which is always rep repeated, or a shifted gradient uh, like it is presented here. And how it works, it's pretty easy, just with a right mouse click and a, dra a drag and drop uh, solution. Here you have a repetitive gradient, and uh, then once you have uh, uh, checked the box of uh, editing, you can see the, um, the, the timetable entries which you, have, which you can edit. You just do a mouse click, drag the point, and the, the gradient uh, table will adapt. So these entries which will come here, you can do this in, in every point of the timetable. And this uh, graphical interface will automatically generate the timetable uh, according to this graphical gradient setup. So once you have set up your gradient and you run your analysis, you once want to uh, analyze your uh, data. For the hard cutting mode, uh, you can use your, your standard chromatography data system, OpenLab, for example. And um, for the uh, comprehensive, uh, for the more tasking uh, ana data analysis in comprehensive mode, we have a partner, uh, GC Image. I apologize, it's, the software is now called LC Image, coming from GC Image LC. And this offers you all the tasks which you need, like the peak identification, I, uh, e integration, um, comparison of the different uh, of different samples and uh, even handling not only about the the, uh, the uh, DAD files from Adrian but also MS data uh, are supported here. So with this short uh, introduction, I just want want to sum up. The uh, Agilent 1290 Infinity 2 DLC solutions offers, for the first time, the, well, offers the easiest possible hardware and software setup which you can imagine in 2 DLC solution. Beside this, uh, also the the separation power is supported by the enormous performance of uh, the 1290 Infinity solution in general, and by solutions like the 2D valve, which support especially the the comprehensive. Uh, mode in 2D LC. Furthermore, if you have uh, already existing uh, Agilent equipment, you are, you are the luck in the lucky situation that you can simply upgrade and you don't have to do the full investment for a full system. So you can reuse your LC e equipment, which is uh, which will save you money and give you the chance to have an easier insight into this technique.